he'd better give up. Harry bursts out anger as Invictus Games UK team is silently hostile to him. An awkward wave of silence spread around in the room where the Invictus Games UK team was having a chat with Prince Harry, after a failed question of his. Prince Harry cheered along with the team after the call started, ahead of the Invictus Games that will take place in Hague, the Netherlands, starting next week. But everyone stopped smiling shortly after Harry asked the captain of the team how she is feeling to be leading the rowdy bunch of athletes. Prince Harry told Rachel Williamson, so far it seems like you are doing well, but the fact that they are all sitting down, to which she chuckled. And he went on asking, are you excited? Are you nervous? Ms. Williamson replied that she feels indeed both excited and nervous, after a very long journey to get where she is now, and continued by praising the team and everyone's efforts. And then Prince Harry insisted, trying to lift the spirit of the team, as everyone was quiet at the time. Prince Harry asked, is everyone excited or are people nervous? Without knowing how to respond, the members of the team sat there in silence for an awkward moment. This lasted until everyone started cheering again, and Prince Harry joined them laughing and cheering. Trying to recover after the awkward moment, Harry then said, the silence says it all, and continued with another question. The brief call continued with more awkward moments, like when Harry looked for his old coach, asking, is my PTI from Sandhurst in here somewhere? When everyone pointed at her, Harry said, there she is. I can't believe after 15 years our paths are crossing again. You used to shout at me so much. Everyone laughed, and she responded, chuckling, you needed it. The royal continued, I needed it. Yeah, cool. That's also fair enough. Harry surprised Team UK with a video call as members gathered for a final training camp before the start of the games. The Invictus Games were founded by the Duke of Sussex with a name to aid the rehabilitation of injured or sick military personnel and veterans from across the globe. Having seen a British team competing at the US Warrior Games held in Colorado in 2013, the Prince wished to bring the concept of a similar international sporting event to the United Kingdom. In another video call appearance in March, ahead of the Invictus Games, Prince Harry tested his skills in speaking Dutch. Towards the end of the video, the Duke of Sussex opened his jacket to reveal an orange top that he was wearing underneath, in support of the Dutch hosting of the event. In the video, the Duke of Sussex spoke with the athletes via video chat from the home office he shares with Meghan Markle in their Montecito home. One more time guys, please. You know I need to get this right, and I really want to get it right as well. So how do I say, good afternoon? You've done a great job, in Dutch? He asks, before giving the phrase his best try and impressing the athletes. He then pronounces the terms Stroop Waffle, the name of a Dutch caramel cookie, and Skaveningen, referring to a seaside district, before telling the team in Dutch, Thank you, see you soon in The Hague. The royal ends the video by taking off his black hoodie and revealing a bright orange outfit, with a t shirt, shorts, cap, and sunglasses all in the national color of the Netherlands. The lead up to the games will be the subject of Prince Harry and Duchess Meghan's first project with Netflix, a docu-series called Heart of Invictus following a group of competitors preparing for the games, with Harry and other organizers also appearing. Since the very first Invictus games back in 2014, we knew that each competitor would contribute in their own exceptional way to a mosaic of resilience, determination, and resolve, said the prince in a statement. This series will give communities around the world a window into the moving and uplifting stories of these competitors on their path to the Netherlands next year.